Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the GCP that is Google Cloud Platform. Today we are going to learn how to create a VM instance in the Google Cloud. In the previous video, we have already talked about how to create a free tier account in the Google Cloud Platform. Today we are going to learn create a VM instance in the Google Cloud. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. So here we have the virtual here you can see we have all the things like API services, billing, IAM roles, compute engine, Kubernetes, cloud storage, BigQuery, VPC. So we have to create an instance that is VM. Okay. So how we are going to create this one? So here we have already create VM compute engine. Okay. So here we have the compute engine is also there. Compute engine. So VM instances. So go to the compute engine. Then we have the VM instances. Okay. So go to that one. Okay, so compute engine API. So here we go with this one. Go to the Google Cloud Console, navigate to the Google Cloud Console, select or create a project. If you don't have, then create and select the existing project. Navigate to the compute engine on the left hand of the navigation pane. Click on the compute engine under the compute. Now create a new VM instance. Okay, on the create button. So here we go with this one. So first of all, we have to go with this one. Okay, so here we have compute engine. Then we have a VM instance. Okay. Then we have a desk images and the snapshots. So let's go to the virtual machines we want to create. Okay. So let's go and just check this one. So I think it hardly takes one minute only, I suppose, or seconds might be. So what the details they have or oh, nothing. Okay. Let us enable this API. So let me stop this when it's done. I will resume this one. It's completed. Now you can see that. Okay. So here create Apache web server on the Linux VM. So create a Linux VM computing machine log into the VM, install the Apache server on the create the view a simple website in 10 minutes. Okay. So we have to create an instance over here, right? So let's start this one. Create a new project already. Enable APIs, Compute Engine already. Next. So here we have to go with the VM Compute Engine. So create instances. On the VM instances page, click Create Instance. Okay. So create this one. Create Instance. Okay. Done. In the, in the name field, enter the name, your server. Okay. So server name you can add like... Um, WordPress, we can make it or anything you can add. Okay. In the name field, enter the name of the server. If you don't have the name, you can use the any one that is Linux web server. So let's add this one. Okay. Add this Linux web server. In the region list, select your region, zone. Regions are collections of the zones that have high bandwidth, low latency work and the connection. So have regions. Okay. So select the region accordingly. Okay. So whatever region they are providing and they what they have low co2 okay so we have the india also i suppose so i will create in that region so create anyone that is in the mumbai okay so i'm going to create this one zone is this one right one c okay this is done in the region that in the zone list we have selected okay 
in the boot disk okay then we have a configurations okay so in the boot disk change the operating system or something so low cost day computing so how many cpus you want one gb basic platform okay so you can select which one based on the availability okay so i want something low okay so here we go with this one so whatever it is selected let's do the selected like fun or two cpu shared core 4 gb ram okay else you can select accordingly standard high or this one 1 gb memory if you want so you can go with the 1 gb memory also okay two cpu with 1 gb ram or go with the 2 gb ram that is also feasible okay availability would be the standard right and another one is port ideal for the fault tolerant workloads according uh, choose the spot to get discount permittable to the vmin so let's select this one or you can go with this one okay set the time limit for the vm so here what they are saying a standard vm will run until the set maximum duration so we don't require this one next we have the i think after this one standard okay so let's select this one okay next on host maintainer ec2 instance requires spot provisioning model to terminate your vm on the host maintenance okay set a time limit know that nothing instances complete this one automatically restart so here we have this one host on terminate host maintenance okay so this is everything is done now next we have the according to you you can set the configurations okay Conf confidential vm services okay enable deploying container so deploy container image to the vm instances Okay, boot disk. It's come over here. Boot disk type like Linux web server size 10 GB. License type is free. Debian. Okay, so you can change whatever the boot size if you want to go to change with this one. So here we have the Debian operating system would be uh, Debian you want Fedora, anything you can choose the operating system from the here. Okay, Ubuntu Pro Ubuntu. Okay, the same thing is that if you want the Ubuntu, let's go to the Ubuntu. 20 LTS okay 10 GB is this one and select this one okay so here we have the allow default SS or you can go with the full SS of okay so after this one boot is done then we have a firewall section okay allow HTTP traffics okay and allow default access okay next we have the observability advanced options now we go with the create option okay you will not now click on the create so the all the settings will be done now you can see that the web server is created over here okay it's signing the IP internal IP and the coming series we are going to learn how to add the elastic IP to this one so that the IP would not be changed so whenever you want to restart or something IP will automatically change so you need to add a static ip to that one so that it never be changed and you can do the rest of the stuff okay so once it's created you can see that now we have the ssh okay now you can see we have a ssh internal ip and the external ip is there you can see that but here we haven't added something over here. You can see it doesn't load. So we have to upload something code index.html or something so that it will load. And here you can see that we have a SSH also to connect to the windows. Okay. So now we have created the instance. Okay. Instance creation is completed. Now we are going to install the Apache, MySQL and WordPress, React pro projects and check that it's working with the IP or not. Okay. So stay tuned with me thank you so much for watching this video have a great day and don't forget to like share and comment on my video have a nice day